Hi class. So we learned a lot about how to draw different dogs and different pets. And now we're ready to go ahead and look at our book again, our 360 things to draw and paint, which are left by Osborne activities. And today we're just going to be thinking about our uh, dream pets. So we might have had some practice drawing some dogs or maybe some cats in class. And now we are ready to draw our dream pet. Or I just feel so confident that you are going to be able to just follow along just from drawing my, your dream pet and not really having to done, having done the starting activities with the 365 book, which I'm going to show you in class and we're going to... Uh, learn how to um, follow all the instructions in class that I'm going to go over. But right now, this video talks about my dream pet. Draw your pet that you dream about, real that you have, or imaginary that you would like to have. And here, you're going to fill out the tag with your pet's name, fill the basket with your pet's favorite toy. This handout um, came from amazing book that I got here in Fordham Wiener Park in a nice bookstore and it's called We Are Colorful Activity Book. Celebrate what makes you you. And I found this page here and I made copies for all of us and uh, I really do enjoy this coloring book. Um, it has a lot of wonderful uh, art sketchbook activities in here such as self-portrait, face, eyes, mouth, ears, um, it has my style, you get to design your Snickers, your outfits, your scarf, draw your meal, your favorite meal, there is cuddling your feelings, and we've been talking about feelings, about our mood meter, so what color does clouds represent, what uh, bicycle, what color does bicycle represents, how you feel about flowers, what color would you give to flowers, what about hiking, what color would you give to hiking, you can also fill it with faces, so uh, you can put emojis like we did with our mood meter videos, so um, I highly recommend this book, and there's lots and lots of activities in here, and we'll do some in class, like the My Dream Pad, so getting back to that, and using the wonderful 365 things to draw and paint by Osborne Activities, we are going to design our own dream pet. So, we have uh, talked about a couple of different pets that we can draw. And uh, what would your dream pet be? So, I will draw really quickly a couple of... Uh, easy to do pet outline but you don't have to copy me you can do your own and it can be imaginary so it could have wings on top of a uh, um, dash hound wiener dog or you can have a bull terrier with you know an alligator's face uh, it can be a uh, beagle with uh, maybe kitty's uh, Face. So uh, it's up to you. It can be imaginary or it can be real. What kind of pet would you like, really like to have? And some of you just might like to have a fish, right? So um, it's up to you or even a lizard. But right now, I'm going to just imagine that I'm drawing a cute little pet and mine would be definitely dog. And so uh, I'm going to start with an oval kind of circle face here. I like him to have a nice fluffy little body, so a little tiny oval for a body. And I know it reflects a little bit, so it's not very, very, very visible. But you're going to create your own. So I hope you can see a little how I pre-sketch my pet first. And I'm going to give him a little legs here. And you can get some ideas while I'm drawing from all these different pets on the other side from our wonderful 365 Things to Draw book. And so I'm going to give him 
little leg. I think mine is going to be just a little puppy. I'm going to give him floppy ears. Floppy ears. Maybe it's going to be her. I don't know. My dream pal. I think it's going to be a boy. I'm going to give him a big nose, a tiny little mouth. It's like a Y. Tiny little mouth. Make it dark so you can see. It's a Y. A little chin. I want him to be nice and furry. Have a long, long, furry face. I want nice little round eyes and furry, furry fur coming all around his face like this. And he's going to have like a Pekingese long ears long ears and a long tail very furry and curly tail it's gonna have beautiful eyes big eyes it's gonna have nice eyelashes and little paws one two three i'll just do three on each one two three See, I pre-sketch it and then I add more details. So mine is going to have very long fur. And I'll do light blue. Light blue and dark indigo. And my pet has tiny little short legs. I think it's going to be a girl, it looks like. To give a friend to my Wookiee, which a picture I showed you in the classroom of who my Wookiee is, and his breed is, who remembers his breed. So, this is a girl, a companion to him, that I would like, it's my dream pet, that one day I would like to give him a little companion. Yes, it's Shitu, you guessed right, he's Shitu, but this one could be a Pekingese. I think the girl could be Pekingese. Or maybe it's going to be a boy. But here, I'm drawing a girl. Okay. Maybe I'll give her a little bit more pink in, his fa in her face. And maybe she has a little red in her face, too. And I'll give her a bow. And that's just a circle and a little half oval on each side. I'll give her a little polka dot. One, two, three, one, two, three. She's cute. I think longer fur. Now I just have to give her a name and give her favorite toys. All right, so how about her name could be Wookie and Cookie. <laughs> that way they rhyme. I'm going to be calling Cookie, come here. And then Wookie, come here. So her name is going to be Cookie. She might really love eating cookies like Cookie Monster. And I'm going to color her tag. I probably should make her tag pink. Like so. I want the word cookie stand out a little bit more, so I'm going to take my black pencil and go over it. Cookie. Okay, now make her eyes stand out a little bit more, give her more eyelashes. There we go, and a little blacker nose. It can be some pink in it, but some black too. And maybe some facial hair here a little bit maybe a little tooth is sticking out here somehow okay that looks good okay now some toys all right how about we can do a little bit of a a, a bird toucan yeah, Wookie at home, he loves playing with his toucan, which is a squeaky toy. So, he has a nice big red beak, bright green body, 
but you make your own toy any way you like. You can decorate your basket. Oh, but mine will be blue. And, you know, for the video length, I don't want my videos to be too, too long, but you're going to keep drawing your dream pad and take your time. You can even use crayon and make it special. And if you brought your markers, you can even use markers. You can outline your name. Cookie, if you have a black marker to outline with, or you can outline your pet if you like. That's up to you. Um, okay, so I can't wait to see your dream pet and what her or his name will be and what kind of toys your dream pet will have. And now is your turn.